I remember the night of my 21st birthday. That was the first time I died. construction site. Happily named. Classic mob venture filled with blue-collar construction workers armed to the teeth. And my boss, Uncle Polly, sent me here to whack the foreman. Like I said, classic.
think I busted my watch. <laughs> Me 400 bucks or at South. Now they got blood stains all over them. It's uh, oh. <laughs> a fucking 21st birthday for you, huh? Here. I got your present. Thanks, Mikey. Atta boy, Jack. You look after those pieces and use them well. No, this looks real bad. Real bad. I will find out what's going on. I get the hell out of here. I'm out of Jackie. in this family. I've been very, very generous to you, Jackie. In fact, I got a surprise for you. On your birthday. It's in the closet. Have a blast. Me and Paulie never did agree about the way things were being done. Paulie took the business into selling drugs, working side by side with the cops. When I was growing up, the family had codes. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now Paulie, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. Down there! He's going towards the cemetery! 
Don't shoot me, son. Frank Rottenberg's the name. I live here. Yeah. Smells like Satan's bunghole. <laughs> but it beats freezing to death. Is there a way out of this fucking cemetery? There's a gate at the north end. Yeah, you got luck on it, though. Keeps out the undesirable element. We went in here. Got him now! I wish to display my power. I've heard people complain that life is unpredictable. Well, I never had a life that was predictable. But what happened to me today? That's why I need you, Jenny. You're the only one I can count on. <laughs> Yo, Jackie! It's me, Enzo! Way up! I hear you pissed off your Uncle Paulie. Put his boys out to look for you. You knock bones with one of his girls or something? Why don't you ask him? Uh-uh. I steer clear of that little rat like he had the bubonic plague. What the hell did you do? Uh, money was involved. I was unconscious at the time. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Hey, I was wondering, you still seeing that girl, Jenny? Because I was thinking, you know, if you ain't... Hey. I'm still seeing her. 
Matter of fact, she just pays me. Oh, okay. Well, there's a phone down the platform you can call her from, you know? Hey, you say hi for me, okay? Jenny, it's me, Jackie. Hiya, baby. Happy birthday. I just got into my new place. I thought you were gonna help me unpack. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Things got kind of screwed up at work. Again? That's too bad. I have a surprise for you. I can't talk right now, but I'll be there soon. I promise. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Look, just remind me again how to get to your new place. It's on Orchid Street here in Chinatown. It's just next to the basketball court. It's apartment number 11. Oh, but you'll have to go around back through Mulberry Alley. They're doing repairs or something on the front door. Are you on your way now? I'll be over as soon as I can. Now do me a favor. Just don't open the door till you know it's me. I'm a big girl, mystery man. I can take care of myself. I'll see you when you get here. Hey, humor me just this once, okay? Now I gotta run. Bye. Good to see you, Jackie. How you doing? I don't got time, Mr. Barucci. I gotta go see a man about a dog. What? You don't got time for your dad's old wheel man? You don't got time for family no more, Jackie? You ever been in love with somebody who was so beautiful and pure, you couldn't bear to show them your own darkness? That's how I feel about you. We grew up together in St. Mary's Orphanage. I guess I'm gonna have to tell you the truth about what kind of scumbag I really am. But what the hell am I gonna say? Stanley Messiano's Jackie. believe this. Look, John Carlos spelled your name wrong again. <laughs> well, 
You gonna blow out the candles? Happy birthday, rat face. You're finally legal. I know you always piss and moan about your birthday, but I couldn't resist. I mean, you're only 21 once, right? Are you okay, babe? You're being kind of quiet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm fine. Just kind of tired. Had a problem at work is all. I know you, Jackie Estacado. Something's wrong. Well, Paulie's all bent out of shape because some money went missing from the register. Now I think he's going to terminate my contract. <sighs> he never worried about stuff like that before. He's been upset plenty of times. What exactly do you do for your Uncle Polly anyway? Why won't you tell me? I'm a nobody. Take out the garbage. You're a bad liar, Jackie Estacado. You look pale, and you're sweating. There's something else, isn't there? Okay. See, here's the thing. I was supposed to collect some money from my Uncle Polly. Hey, come on. Your friend Butcher came by today. He wanted you to call him when you could. I wrote the number on the notepad by the phone. See you, Rex. Innocence. Come on, sit here for a while, Jackie. Watch some TV with me. Jackie, what is it? <laughs> Let's just sit here for a while. Okay? You want the remote, don't you, mister? Uh-uh. No. My apartment, my TV, my remote. Hmm. Are you cold, Jackie? God. It's freezing in here. Good having you here. It's kind of calming. <sighs> I'm always calm when you're here. I can feel your heartbeat. to get up. To the grapevine, you're at the Olive Grove. Yeah. Now let me tell you something. It's a good thing you're in. 
and Sarah's out of town. The Olive Grove is right next to her apartment, and this has been one messy afternoon. Now you get yourself over here, but tread lightly. I've got my share of shit for tonight, okay? Hey, leave the goons to me. Now listen, Butch. Things are happening. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Paulie Franchetti. Okay, now I want you to notice. I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doya's alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. You make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? <gasps> What's going on? Morning, Come on, Mr. Finch. Mm. Put out a hit on some guy, Butcher fleshes his body. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business. But what keeps him alive is that he never, ever chooses a side. Yeah. Too bad there's a war coming. Oh. I heard you coming from a block away, Jackie. Expensive Italian shoes make you sound like a fucking bull elephant. Like a new generation. Every cop for a half a mile around probably knows you're here. Fucking cops, all I need now, huh? Grab that body, would you? Oh, always. You gotta call me in when I'm eating. Can't you people make your hits at a reasonable time of the day, huh? Jeez. You know, they told me there was only one body to dispose of. What's the people knows? No. Dealers from the alley. So what happens? Instead, some moron puts a bullet right between Jeff Helmet's eyes. Ah. <sighs> Take care of it. All right. Good enough. What happened to you tonight? Listen, Butch, you know any more about why Polly wants me dead? Well, you're the best contract guy they have. Young and ambitious. They don't like that. Mm -mm. Uh, now you listen to me, Jackie. Your only option is to take down Paulie before he takes you down. Put a big enough dent in his business, and the Chicago people will see to it he has an accident. I would never be one to suggest how you do this, but if you ask me, you need to pay a visit to Dutch Oven Harry. Put some holes in him. Hmm? Dutch Oven Harry? No, never heard of him. <sighs> Who's Dutch Oven Harry? I'll tell you. Harry is Paulie's biggest dealer of illicit medicine. He works out of a building in Hunter's Point. Now, if I were the kind of man to be involved in things like this, I'd take down Harry. 
I pull all of his merchandise out of the building. But I'm not, see? You don't want to come walking up to their front door. So go through that rundown billiards club at Whitefish Alley. There's a back door leading to Hunter's Point from there. Hmm? Ah, fuck. The cops. This is why I don't get involved. Get back and... This is Captain Edward Schroeder, leader of the police department. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up and nobody gets her. Well, nobody anybody gives a shit about. He ain't coming out, Cap. We're gonna call it resisting arrest. The best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's. Hey, 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 w w what say you slip me a couple of bucks, hey? Huh? I gotta take a train. Say, you got any liquor on you? Sorry, pal. I'm dry. Hey, you know Dutch Oven Harry? Oh, you, you wanna get wired up? <laughs> you go by the side door and tell them old Matty Forehand sent you. If they ask, you say, hit me. And then they bring the really good shit. Now, now, you make sure not to point any guns in their general direction. I don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Make me your master. What's the password? Hit me. I gotta see Dutch Oven Harry. Come on in. Harry ain't around. You want something? Talk to Roach. Bad choice, Shaggy. Oh!
Take it easy. I killed them myself. Sure thing, Roach. Why did you come to my office? You want to see Catch up! He's over here! Operations. to tell him to his face. Paul, he took me out of an orphanage I lived in after my parents died. It's kind of like being rescued from a shark attack by a grizzly bear. The only reason he took me in was because he needed another hitman. We never did see eye to eye. to do or feel about it. All I know is that it's evil. Where are you? I'm at home, but I'm going by there right now to see if there's anything I can do to help. Jimmy's picking me up. Can we meet at Fulton Street by the exit to the orphanage? You can take the train from Canal and meet at Fulton in a minute. I'll be there as soon as I can. You fucking maggot! Anyone hurts Pauly Franchetti. I heard him twice as bad in return. Three times as bad! Because I decide how this city works. You hear me? I hope you took a good look at the sky today. Cause it's the last moment of peace you'll ever have in your very short and very miserable rest of your pointless fucking existence. Think of happy thoughts. Think of the people you love. Think of St. Mary's Orphanage for fucking imbecile children. And a bomb that blew their retard brains to pieces. They're all dead, Jackie. So I want you to think of me. And never forget, this was all your fault. <laughs> Breaking news special report. 
In a stunning turn of events, the St. Mary's Orphanage is currently the site of a massive firefighting operation, following what witnesses have described as an explosion, turning a random bombing in the city into a trend. Live on the scene is Newswatch 6 reporter Matt Devon. Matt, what do you have for us? Jane, behind me is a scene of chaos as New York's fire department tries to subdue the raging fire that is playing the St. Mary's Orphanage. Earlier reports that this might have been a terrorist attack have been quelled by Captain Edward Schroth of the New York City Police Department. He has said that the explosion was likely the result of a gas leak and that there's currently no suspicion of criminal activity having been involved in this tragic accident. As you can see behind me, the fire is still way out of control and the fire department is desperately searching for anyone who may still be alive inside. Shit! Jane, we've been asked to leave the area. It's not safe for us to be here. All right, thank you, Matt. Stay tuned for more information on this developing story on Newswatch 6. Hey, good to see you, Jackie. Listen, I wish we could be meeting under better circumstances, but you know the way things are. Oh my God, Jackie. This is so awful. No one's heard from Sister Mary. The police said it was some kind of a gas main explosion, but it feels like they're hiding something. Our Sister Mary? Jesus, what about the kids? <sighs> Two or three died. One of the firemen told me some have severe burns. Yeah, I know, Jenny. It's a terrible thing, sweetie. It's a terrible thing. But, um, do you mind if I have a quick word with Jackie? Okay, I guess. <sighs> I don't understand. What kind of monster would do something like this? Jack, come here. Let me tell you something. I've seen this shit happen time and time again ever since that fat fucking Paulie took over the mob. You understand? He's doozy bots. He's out of his fucking mind. Last week, last week he cut off Tony Lucchese's big toe. Why? Because of a fucking baseball game. Can you believe that? A disagreement over a baseball game. That fat piece of shit thinks he can't be touched, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He's going to be touched. Oh, boy, is he going to be touched. I'm telling you, someone goes to grind his lane, and they burn all the fucking money he's holding for the Chicago guys. Listen, Jimmy. Now, you know out of respect, I would never do anything like that unless you guys gave the word. If I make a move, will you keep an eye on Jenny? Jackie, like she was my own flesh and blood, I swear to God. Just kick the fuck out of them. You hear me? Kick the fuck out of them! Grinders Lane. This is the center of Paulie's operation. The place always makes me want to kick a fucking dog. Or something. Captain Andre Kuchov of the Santa Maria, heading south southwest on bearing 1 East 385. ETA as planned. Over and
Jackie, they snuck up on me and nailed me from behind. Paulie and that fucking piece of shit, Eddie Schroed. Well, listen, you gotta get to the orphanage. They took Jenny to the orphanage. You gotta get there. Go on, move, quick, move. When you kill for a living, life's only precious if you're staring down the barrel of a gun. Or somebody you care about is. Holy can have my possessions, my life, anything I own. Anything except you. Anything! Remembering something, Jackie. Right about oh, you. Shut up, you dumb broad. You're giving me a fucking headache. This was your idea, Franchetti. If it was up to me, I'd have blown her brains out already. Hey, well, it's not up to you. Fuck you! Why are you doing this? Maybe you should ask your boyfriend when he gets here. Jackie? Why haven't you fucked him oh, over shut enough? Shut your fucking mouth, bitch! He's <laughs> still oh. watch. Okay. Please don't kill me. No! Oh! Oh! Damn it! Your flesh is mine. Your will is mine. Well, 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 just in time. I heard you and your girlfriend grew up here, Estacado. What a shithole. Broke my nose. And now the place looks like it was hit by a bomb. Oh, Get up. what's the matter? Don't know your ass from your elbow with all that demon shit? You know why we're here? 
Is you heard me, Jackie. I took you in for my own. I trusted you. So now all this blood is on your hands. Jackie, what's going on? Get me out of here. Ah, shut the fuck up! No. You see a happy ending here, Jackie. You figure you got something to bargain with me so that I don't blow her fucking brains out her fucking nose? Because the way I see it, you got nothing. It just gets bigger and bigger, don't it, Jackie boy? We hurt you, you hurt us. It's like some fucking game we're playing here. You caused me a lot of trouble, boy. You were my blood, Jackie. I loved you like a son, and you took from me. You stole my respect, and you stole my trust. And when blood takes from blood, someone always pays. So now, I take from you. Jackie, this is not your fault. One in the village? My name is Captain William Hilditch. Second arm. I wouldn't fall about. I've seen things down there that would make grown men cry. If I were you, I'd get in the shop. Keep moving and don't look back. There's no explanation for what's happened to me. 
Maybe this place isn't a place at all. Maybe it's a state of mind. I mean, I'm supposed to be dead. I remember you. I remember the gunshot. I think I'm in hell. Daddy, go back or be lost forever. Was in hell. Nothing to come us. Turn away. Nothing for you here. Chung Estacado! Let's get into the church, eh? He's waiting for you in the church. I'd get inside before the bloody Germans... It's really might... Jackie. Jackie? Jackie! Holy shit! Are you Whoa. a sight for sore eyes? Somebody get a nurse! Listen, kid. I know there are a lot of things you're not going to understand, but you got to trust me. Now that you've arrived, I think we're going to find out what's happening here. Do I know you? My name is Tony Estacado. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I guess that I'm your great-great-grandfather. The darkness. What the hell is it? The darkness is a living thing. It's some kind of a creature, old as time. It, it, it passes down from generation to generation, making itself known on the firstborn male's 21st birthday. What the hell is this place? Don't you see it? Everything happened here, Jackie. This is where it all began. That's why I'm back in this goddamn nightmare war. It's why we all are. I brought this darkness into our family. This is all my fault. What do you know about the darkness? Do you know why it chose me? I don't know. It, it needs a host, I guess. I messed up, Jackie. I brought it into the family. I didn't realize it would do this to us. Why did it bring me here? It needs its human host to stay alive. Somehow you broke the rules, Jackie. You died before your time. The darkness has to keep you here while it puts you back together. It won't allow you to die. How do I stop this? And how do I get out? Listen, there might be a way to control it. I found out that a long time ago, one of the human hosts forged two special weapons that were used to control the darkness. Promise me, Jackie, that you'll go find them. You gotta work out how to control this damn thing before it's too late. We got home, sir. So we'll be going home. Go up to the hills, Jackie. Just keep moving and don't look back. Don't listen to the darkness, Jackie. It'll lie to protect itself. Just keep going and don't
centuries later, I fashioned the guns to harness its power into a weapon. Over time, others refined them, improved them. I once imagined I too would control the darkness. Remember, a powerful enemy within you. Use the weapons wisely, or the darkness will consume your soul. Jackie, what the? You found them? Yeah, yeah. I got them. What now? The Brits have been fighting for centuries to get to those hills, but you're the one who made it. <sighs> All right, here's what else I know. There's this thing. The darkness keeps it heavily fortified. A cannon outside an old castle. Help me understand. Why are you here? What's with the soldiers? Jesus, Jackie, I don't remember. I don't think I'm allowed to. I think the darkness does this to its hosts. It devours our souls, tricks us into using it, and then keeps us dangling on a line like a fish. Look, I got a plan for you, but you're not gonna like it. You have got to get to that cannon, and the only way is through this catacomb right down here. There's an underground sewer system that leads to the cannon. Krauts and strange things are crawling every damn where. I think the darkness put them there for a reason. The only way is through the catacombs, right down here. Steady your rifles! Keep your eyes peeled! First thing that moves, shoot it dead! Okay, Jackie, get going and move as fast as you can! Don't look back! I don't like it. The place is crawling with a damned heart. This is a mistake. And the kid will stick to his. This is our only chance to end this thing. It's dark down there, sir. There's something important here that the darkness is trying to protect. I could feel its agitation. But if I stay the course... If I defy the voices in my head and never look back, maybe up ahead I'll see a light. And maybe in that light, I'll see you, Jim. Somehow, the darkness is doing whatever it can to keep me alive. Because it needs a human host. But not one that thinks and acts for itself. Like me. You have done well, Jackie. Oh, what is always on your side? Just what Jack didn't have. You should never have been here. Yes, 
First Jenny gets murdered, your ass goes up in smoke, everyone figured Paulie blew you the fuck away. He did, Jimmy. I just came back is all. You know, your Aunt Sarah, that poor woman, that poor woman would just sit there in her Raspberry Street apartment and wait just for you, yeah, just for you to show up. You ever do one thing right in this whole mess, in this whole life of yours, you go down to the Lower East Side and you see her, you hear me? Go down to Raspberry Street and you go see your Aunt Sarah. My Aunt Sarah. Now she taught me about life. After I left the orphanage, she was the one person who cared for me. And she loved you. Now when her husband Jimmy Franchetti died, the family forgot about her. Except for the older guys. And me. Jack! Oh, I've been so worried about you. I heard you were gone and I... I feared the worst. You look thin. Have you been eating? You come on inside. Come on. You want some minestrone? Hmm? I know what's happened, Jackie. And you know how much I've always loved you. You know how I hate it when our family turns against each other like this. Aunt Sarah, I lost her. And what the hell am I gonna do without Jenny? It's terrible. I cleaned out her apartment. She was waiting for you, Jackie. Anyone but you could see it. Oh, you should have taken her away from this place when you had the chance. And now you've got to take care of it. I'm really sorry the way things came out, Aunt Sarah. Now, you know that I never meant any disrespect to you and the family. But I'm gonna have to take a stand against Paulie and Eddie Schrote and punish them for what they did. I know. And some of the older men, they'll support your decision, Jackie. But you're gonna have to earn their trust. If you were to hurt Paulie's operation, they might consider joining you. They want things back the way they used to be. I'm gonna tear his face off, Aunt Sarah. Part of my language. But I'm gonna rip that dirty little motherfucker's face off and feed his lips to the fucking rats! But I can't kill that little fucking scumbag without your blessing. You know that. Well, kill is such a dirty word. But do what you have to do. And understand that you won't get to Paulie unless you go through his police dog first. The only way to Paulie is through Captain Eddie Schrote. Now, I happen to know he has an apartment up by Gun Hill. And I spoke to Jimmy the Grape. And he's arranged for a man named Abe Hunter to let you into the building. And I suggest you go there. And take up Jimmy's offer of help while you can.
like I have everything to live for and nothing to gain. I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schroep into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. Hey, Jackie. You heard the police got PD pajamas, don't you? Now, what about them? What happened is, the cops brought him in, they took him down in the basement to do a kind of impromptu Q&A with him, you know what I'm saying? Playing 20 questions. The problem with Pete is this. He's weak. He's real weak. You give him some fucking Indian burns and he'll squeal like a stuffed pig. But Pete, he knows stuff. Jackie, we need to shut that little piece of shit up, you know what I'm saying? What well, he's bound to tell those cops is gonna leak down to Pauly, and if that happens, whoa, that's bad for all of us. All right. Where are they keeping him? Yeah, but that's the problem. We don't know where the fuck he is. We got a door number and that's it. You gotta keep your eye open for door 261, you hear me? It ain't fair, man. That asshole won't let me play my harmonica at my spot unless I give him a couple hundred bucks. Who won't let you play? Big guy. He's always hanging here. Goes by the name of Compton Scar. If I could fight like I play, I'd tear him a couple of new holes just for kicks. You just gotta know how to persuade a guy. Wait here. You got a problem, tough guy? Yeah. My problem is I'm a big music lover, and I don't got no music to listen to. Now my buddy with the harmonica? He's an honest-to-God virtuoso. So my suggestion is that you leave him alone and let him do his thing. And if I don't? Well, if you don't, I got a magic trick for you. I see you around here again, dipshit. I'll put my arm down your throat and pull a rabbit out your fucking ass. Just relax, all right? You can play down here if you want. Thanks, son. I never would say this to no one, but you got a good heart. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous, never sat in the back of a yellow cab, going the wrong way, at 90 miles an hour, through the Midtown Tunnel, with a guy who can't speak a lick of English, my buddy, Crazy Abdul. And say you could get past this. You could walk all the way to the old city hall station. As long as you didn't tread on any dead hookers. <laughs> What's at city hall station? I'm trying to find my brother, Ernie. I think he went down that way. You see Ernie Devall, you tell him his brother Mitch is waiting. You tell him to get his sorry ass back here. Oh, Bush. I'm certain it feels so good. I do not find him out. You lose something, man? You want some help? Oh, the Aki, oh dear. I can't find my bracelet. My Harold gave it to me. It's down there somewhere. Again, you should see his bad side. Now, I try not to judge, but for what he did to you, both sides are as good as dead. Well, you took your sweet time, didn't you? I'm Abe Hunter. I don't know where the fuck you've been. What? You hit traffic or something? All right. Schroed's up in his place. Been there about an hour, maybe. Five will get you ten. He won't be expecting no company. Only about five people even know where he lives. Thanks for the info. Now how do I get in? Listen, 
right up in the elevator and go straight in. Follow the stink. You can't fucking miss it. All right. Here you go, pal. Okay, so you got the key to Schroth's apartment. The elevator's over there. for this family for more years than I care to remember. And now this. What do you say I put him over a barrel and show him the truth? This is City Hall. You know, it used to be a subway station. But it pretty much went to hell a few years ago. It's the only way through to where I need to go. Back to the motherfuckers who killed you. Human misery. Subtle. Disease of the mind and heart. The 
dust of the sphere. It's a good place to die. Help! Help! These are the old Turkish baths. Schroed's secret warehouse full of stolen evidence. But I got a little birthday surprise waiting for me. Courtesy of good old Butcher Joyce. All I gotta do is get through half a legion of bank cops, find that suitcase, and bring it back to the butcher. The light blows down. business in that regard for years. So I know when I'm about to be on the receiving end. Eddie's boys are gonna be out here intent on blowing my brains out. These fucking morons must think I was born yesterday. Hey man, I don't know who you pissed off, but you did a fine job. <laughs> hey, I seen about 20 or 30 cops down there. Heavy shit. SWAT and everything! <laughs> Make sure you watch your back, son. You got half of the NYPD waiting for you down there. Okay, there's a bunch of cops and stuff down there. Be- What the hell did you bring all these cops around here for? This place was fine till you came here. Hey, buddy, keep an eye out down there, okay? Oh, oh.
fight fire with fire. That's what I always say. Marco Pauli always goes for the spectacular when he's breaking somebody's balls. Let's see how he likes it when I do the same to his main man, Eddie. <laughs> Say, did you see my brother? Well, I saw him, but I think he's kind of reluctant to meet up with you. He's got serious people problems. Oh, my brother Ernie's always been the family freak. Hey, but thanks for trying. Here. Well, you stirred up a hornet's nest, Jackie. Make no mistake. Your Uncle Paulie had big plans for that briefcase. I'd imagine they'd be calling any second now. But first, I'm gonna put a bomb in that suitcase. Okay. now, Jackie. You decide when and where you meet Eddie. Just be careful. He didn't get this far in life by being stupid. Hmm? What are you waiting for? Call Eddie Schroeder and set up a meeting. Eddie Schroeder. Him and my Uncle Paulie. You just hang in there, Eddie. I didn't forget about you. Don't chicken out on me, man. Go by Lower East and bust up this gang of shitheads on Whitefish. I'm waiting on you. Screams of the dying. Luck isn't just luck. It's preparation meets opportunity. Well, I got my opportunity. Jury's out on whether or not I'm really prepared. One thing I know for sure. This is my path to the men who killed you. There's no way in hell anyone could stop me from paying them back. For what they did. Again. I think I just figured it out. No. You can't control the darkness. Here in no man's land. You gotta work out how to get back. Don't get any ideas. The trenches. See, they weren't inside my mind. I was inside the mind of the darkness. That's where it's vulnerable. It's where I gotta go back. That means I gotta top myself again, but this time, I'm gonna take Eddie fucking Schrode along with me for a ride. 
why this place fills the church. Well, I see you came alone. I knew you'd keep your word, Jackie boy. And I see you brought my stuff, just like you promised. Go ahead, put it on the altar. Nice and slow. Criminals, you can always be relied on to make the dumbest mistakes possible. Like they train you guys to be dipshits on command. Kendall, turn off the lights. Welcome back to the land of the living. But don't get used to it. Okay. Now, tell me. Who helped you out on the hit at the turkey's baths? Oh, what's the matter? Helpless without that screwy shit you've been pulling in the darkness? Too light here, isn't it? <laughs> You're mine now. Ah, uh, let's get creative. You don't have to talk. I'm gonna have fun either way. Go give me that power drill. Sure thing, Eddie. It ain't Eddie, you fucking moron! It's Captain Shrope! Ah, oh, shit, sorry. Sure thing, Captain Shrope. Now, I'm gonna tell you how this works. You tell me who helped you out on the hit at the turkey's bass. You tell me who saw the briefcase. You play ball and you die quickly. Otherwise, you get little holes drilled in the pain centers of your brain. And believe me, I've done this work before. You may think you're a tough kid, but you don't want to go that second route. You know, you made Polly real nervous. That little turd is so paranoid, I gotta keep him in a safe place until the heat dies down. Now say your prayers. Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at... Oh, Mother of God, that's a good one, boss. I mean, considering the shipment we got coming in. Well, don't tell him, you stupid shit! What's the difference? Who's he gonna tell? Won't make any difference if he knows about the... You said we was gonna waste him. Oh, yeah. We're gonna waste him. And if you say one more word about Mother of God, right. we're gonna waste you next! Easy. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. Now then, you may feel a little discomfort. Fuck! Shit! God damn it! You're plugging him all the way over there! Jesus Christ! God damn it! All <laughs> no plan, no fucking forethought. Always gotta fix every little goddamn thing myself, just like fucking usual. Fucking blabbermouth guys, no common sense, no respect. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about all that later. Yeah. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Chinese piece of shit. <laughs> Keep licking Eddie's ass, you cunts. Polish his sweet butt crack. Boy, you sure did put the cat among the pigeons, Estacado. You know what I'm saying? That means you fucked everything up. Why? Now we gotta do what we gotta do. You. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Hit it. Yeah. 
fucking hilarious. You think fuckface A could ever make me talk? Mmm. Manny messed up your face. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes, boy. You know, when Eddie gets that drill fixed, this'll look pretty cute in comparison. I grow strong. You'll die before you realize what I'm up to. I seen a man die of shock one time before the drill even touched his skull. Lucky son of a bitch. Display your power. Come over here. Lights in my eyes. I need some shade. You caused us a lot of trouble, Estacado. You know how long it's gonna take to repair all that damage you've done? Ah, dark bliss. You realize no one's getting out of this alive, right? You know, Estacado, I never did like Pauli Franchetti. If I didn't have to kill you, I'd buy you a drink for what you did. No, stupid puppet! And that... <sighs> that was the second time I died. Don't work without a shell. You'll need to find one. Somewhere else. You are without hope.
thought we were goners there for sure. Goddamn tank almost crushed my spine. <laughs> hey, you don't look so good, Jackie. I'll go find something to get you out of here. Don't go anywhere, kid. find it yet. Or maybe it's through here, in the heart of the darkness. Or maybe I'm just walking into a trap.
This is the heart of the darkness. It's where the creature dwells. I think this is the end of the line. Don't let it win. some waves, son. The Chicago boys are considering pulling the plug on your dear old Uncle Paulie. He's on his knees, ready to suck whatever dick he can so they won't freeze his assets. He's holed up. Not even Butcher knows where. Schroed's people mentioned Mother of God. Now, I think it had something to do with the administration in Chicago. You know anything about that? Uh, strange. He and Paulie got religious? Run the name with Butcher. <laughs> He's gonna shit in his britches. When you show up, you're supposed to be dead. So go see Butcher. He should be over Aunt Sarah's. He's, uh, helping around with some stuff or some shit. I, I don't know. There's something coming. 
Maybe it's that eclipse they were talking about on the news. Yeah, just feels weird. Whatever it is, it's big. I feel like a penguin trying to stop a runaway polar bear. The mother of God thing was way too obvious. I figured it had to be something else. Now I knew that Aunt Sarah and the Butcher were ready to see Schrott and Pauly's asses on a platter. I've already got an opening. Maybe they can help turn it into a gaping hole. You're still alive. Oh, thank the Lord. <sighs> Holy cat. Jackie? Jackie, is that you? This problem with your Uncle Pauly has gone on long enough, Jackie. It's time to take action. I think the decision has just about made itself anyway, what with the way he's been carrying on. Now, some old friends of the family want to know what they can do to help. Eddie Schroed's guy said something about the Mother of God. It was supposed to be an inside joke, but it meant something. Now, I think there's some kind of connection to the Chicago families, something Paulie wants to keep to himself. Mother of God? Like the Virgin Mary? You don't suppose he's talking about the Santa Maria? Mm -hmm. That's a Chicago family boat. It's been running shipments of drugs into the harbor for years. Knowing Eddie, he wouldn't resist a chance to talk about it to a dying man. <laughs> he always did have diarrhea in the mouth. Especially if there's something big going on. Chicago family's gonna be real interested in what happens here, Jackie. This is going to be your best chance to get Paulie out of the picture for good. Just say the word, and I'll help if I can. I want to know more about this Santa Maria, Butch. Anything there I can use against Paulie? Listen, Jackie, I would never normally say this. <clears throat> you know me. I never choose sides. But you already put a hole in Paulie's finances when you took out Dutch Oven Harry's operation. You put a few holes in that boat, Santa Maria. <laughs> the Chicago family's gonna pull a plug, and Paulie will find himself swimming to the bottom of the river. I need to know how to mess up Paulie's deal. They got people inside the Coast Guard. They usually wait for the coast to clear, and they call the Santa Maria in from the harbor to make a shipment. <clears throat> There's a radio they use, down at Grinders Lane, tuned to the correct frequency at all times. <clears throat> you get to that radio and call in, and they'll send the boat. <laughs> now you do what Butcher says. The boat's name is Santa Maria. You should go to Grinders Lane and find that radio. Go to Grinders Lane. There's an exit at Fulton Street Station. They'll send the boat. Yo, Jack A! I got something for you. You ever hear of a guy by the name of Frankie Thierry? He sets up most of the trade between Paulie and his Chicago families. They call him Noses. Yeah, yeah. I heard of him. He's a scumbag. Yeah, well, word on the street is he's about to run a couple of kilos of Paulie's junk through town to his drop point. What say we, uh, we help get it off the street, huh? Well, what's the plan, Stan? Noses comes through Fulton Station all the time. I'm gonna give you a briefcase, right? Noses carries one just like it. Find the right moment to pull a switch, then bring it back to me, I'll flush that shit down the drain. Go to Fulton and pull the switch with the air in the Then come back here.
Okay. Well, um, back to the West Coast business, I guess. That was nice work, Jackie. You understand? So I heard that there's another one down Grinders Lane, you know? The Chicago families sent him to Pauly to look over things. Huh? During the war, they used to have this saying, loose lips sink ships. Now I know what they mean, and soon the Chicago families will know too. All I need is that radio to call in their boat. You can bring in the boat. Everything's clear. Over. Affirmative. We are coming in. Keeping the neighborhood wide awake at night, you know what I mean. He's one of Parley's hard-ass sledgehammers. Plus, he's a genuine prick. Take uh, special care of him. Shit. I mean, did you hear about Ernie Polanco? Oh, right. I get it. Well? No, I, I ain't heard nothing. Well, get this. The other day, Paulie sent Polanco to rub out Timmy the nose. Right? Paulie gave Ernie Polanco a hit? I got Why? Because Polanco is Al Capone's great. Right. Yeah, but he got a fucking moron.
Now that Paulie's found out that the old crew's on my side, it's like some snake bit him on the heel. Next thing I know, I got Jimmy the Grape and everybody all holed up at Aunt Sarah's place, while Paulie's boys crawl out all over them like steak on shit. I guess maybe this is what I wanted all along. The opportunity to impress. Yo, where's the photo? I'm on! Jimmy will never have stood for this, and neither will I! No, Jackie, no! You're going to do something, Jackie! Whatever happens to me! got balls and you got brains listen me and some of the old guys we've been talking the other day we were saying that someone like you with brains balls and respect is someone who honors the old ways you know what the old ways mean don't you because there ain't nothing but the old ways so what we want we want for you to come in and take over the family just for a little while huh you like that come on this way you'll be the guy you be the Don. Sure. As long as it doesn't interfere with my day job. Don't let it go to your head, huh? Now get this straight. There's a boat waiting for you down at Pier 19. Mario's there. He'll take you out to the lighthouse. Okay? You ain't home yet. There's a boat. Waiting for you down at Pier 19. Not here. I'm close. Yeah, real close. But I can feel the darkness twisting.
twisting. It wants us more than anything. It thrives in the madness. You can feel the coming eclipse, and it's agitated. I'm beginning to lose control. So story. Except I'm not the one lining up for the last rites. It's my loving Uncle Paulie. He knows the end of the story as well as I do. But he don't like it as much. You know what I say to that? Fuck him. I seen that stupid little prick shovel a whole mountain of shit onto some good friggin' people. Dealing with dope heads and selling out to the cops. Take Polly Franchetti out, I'll be right behind you.
Come on! Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't feel my legs. a little light in the darkness. Didn't I tell you so, sweet? Jenny? We get one moment, Jackie. It's all they can allow. What? Who? Just one moment. Just to say goodbye. You were everything to me. And all I ever did was kill you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't forgive you, Jackie. How can I forgive you when it wasn't your fault? You have to go now. I don't want to go. I want to stay here with you.
Am I dreaming? Yes. You have to wake up now. <laughs> <laughs>